hey guys. So, like, would you say my red guitar is your favorite or is it the black one? <laughs> solo career is 10 years old, so is your youngest son. Which one are you most proud of? That's a fucking good question to start off with that, mate. Because they both give me an extraordinary amount of joy. I'd say... I'd say my... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna say my son. Really? Well, because I have to. Really, really? I really mean my career. <laughs> well, there you go. Because, but I'm going to have to say my son, aren't I? But they make you proud in different ways. Oh, I'm not. Pr I'm not. I don't. I don't say I was proud of my career. I'm proud of my. I'm proud of little Sonny boy, though. I don't say pride is a is um is a a feeling I don't experience much because. I'm never really proud of what I do because I expect it to be great and it is and then I just move on to the next thing. I don't fucking stand there going, ooh, mm. isn't this wonderful? How has your backstage rider changed over the last 10 years? Uh, I'd say there's, um, when, it, when I started, it would have been quite similar to the Oasis rider. But as the band has evolved into, um, a traveling knitting circle. Uh, there'd be more wine on it mm. and uh, more girl stuff. Baby sham. What do I personally require? I'm, I'm quite fucking low maintenance, to be honest. A few beers. Yeah, I'm not really, I just drink and eat what, what, whatever's there. What about your little shot of whiskey? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottle of Jameson's, yeah. The rider for me is all about booze and crisps. Um, excluding your own, what's the best album of the last 10 years? David Bowie, The Next Day. Amazing record. That's, yeah, that is the best album of the last... Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Don't oh, react. hello. He's in there. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> that would not have been picked up on the mic. I don't care. <laughs> uh, David Bowie, The Next Day. Yeah? Yeah. My stomach agrees. Yeah. <laughs> um, lock all the doors. We're on our way now. You know we can't go back. We're going to get there in the end. This is the place. Are you slowly putting together a stage musical about a jaded coach driver? <laughs> I mean, no. The answer is no. I do... Those list of songs have got a lot of W's in it, don't they? I mm. went through a period of, uh, in Oasis, there was songs fade away, half the world away, don't go away. <laughs> uh, but these all sound like something a coach driver might say. Or like they'd have that sign on top of the coach. Yeah. That'd be fucking, I think that'd be good. Do a musical, like, you know, like the Queen musical. Yeah, no, there's been, the, I've been, I've been, uh, the idea of a, a musical has been floated to me on more than one occasion. Um, and What, Oasis musical? Both. Both. Uh, yeah, somebody with an idea of, uh, uh, like an old Gallagher one called Everybody's on the Run, and then there was another one, uh, yeah, like an Oasis one, and I was like... <sighs> no. If every animal on the planet was the size of a cat, what pets would you have? I'd definitely have a tiger. What other animals are there? A panda? Yeah. Elephant? Imagine a cat-sized elephant. Yeah, that, yeah, the, th the thing about elephants are they're fucking massive, aren't they? That's, that's the big... A little elephant's like, well, you can just kick it in the bollocks and fucking <laughs> get out of it. It'd be funny. Run, Dumbo! Move. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I'd definitely have a tiger, though. Like a Bengali tiger. Hmm. And a... And a, and a, uh, oh, a polar bear. That would be fucking great. What about an ant? No. No, 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 no. If you're downsizing predators, that's yeah. all right. If you're upsizing fucking insects, that's, so that's like mad science fiction film, isn't it? 
which I want no part of. Okay. Oasis were very nearly called the Sons of the Stage. That's correct. What were the alternatives for High Flying Bird? There was none. There was none. It was either going to be just the classic Noel Gallagher, uh, and I didn't. Uh, I just didn't see it. I didn't. It didn't feel right to me because it felt like it. It, it felt a bit uh, that I would be duty bound to play loads of old stuff all the time. Uh, and yeah, that name just fell out of the sky one afternoon while I was loading the dishwasher. Yeah. Why didn't you go? What is it like business sense to put Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds, or could you have just been called High Flying Birds? In high insight. Just starting its high flying birds would have been a ridiculous thing to do. But I, I took inspiration from Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. That's what I was at I was at home loading the dishwasher and the radio was on and the song High Flying Bird, which is a song by Judy Dentsk, uh, was on the radio and it was followed by something from Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. And I had one of those light bulb moments where I was like, no fucking way. Brilliant. And um, yeah, so it was the best of both worlds, really. What's your most treasured possession that fits in your pocket? Is it something that will fit in my pocket or is it something that I carry in my pocket? Yeah, that fits in your pocket. It was just to stop you saying my guitar. <laughs> uh, I don't really have many of them. I don't really get attached to stuff, but like that, I've had that, I've had that bracelet for since the nineties. There's a lot of people who ask questions about this ring. Oh, that as well. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't. I'm not big on jewelry, but the jewelry that I do own. Yeah, I'd be. That, I'd feel a bit naked without these. What is that again? That. That's uh, when you leave school or college, as they call it in America. You get. Uh, we get a certificate and a kick in the bollocks. Uh, they get one of these rings, I believe, <clears throat> and. Um, this is from Ruston High School in Mississippi, Louisiana. I can't remember. I can't see now. Right, it's uh, fabulous. It's, it's not got. expensive. It's like. It's not, no, I don't think so. No, I got it in a pawn shop in Tokyo in the 90s. And frankly, I put it on in the shop and I couldn't get it off, so I had to buy it. And uh, yeah, lots of people, uh, lots of people ask about that ring. Mm. When was the last time you cooked at a barbecue? You never. I'm it. never allowed. I would never do it. <clears throat> Have you ever done it? No, I would never do it for fear of fucking poisoning everybody. So you've never cooked a barbecue? No, I barely cook. I mean, I could, I'll, cook, I'll cook for me. And if I get food poisoning, fucking whatever, you know what I mean? You'll lose a bit of terry. It's all right, everyone's a winner. Um, but uh, I wouldn't cook for, no way would I cook for other people. No, for, I, no, no way. Not so you've it. never felt the joy of barbecuing. No, it's not. No, I, my skill sets lie elsewhere. I, while you're doing the barbecuing, I'm doing the music. Right. So I'm getting pissed. I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I, no. I'd, I'd fucking ruin it. I'd ruin it. If you wrote a self-help book, what would it be called? Sad but true. What would the central message be? That life is sad, and. And all the events in this book are true and whatever you take from it will help you get through your life. What's a song you love by an artist you hate? Probably... Probably... In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Mm. What about you? There's, there's some good songs. All right, well... I mean... Um, tell us one. <laughs> What's the one about the when he sees someone homeless? Oh, another day in paradise. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh, that's fucking shit. That's shit. That's all right. That's good. There's quite a few songs by Phil Collins, but didn't you like Genesis? Well, Genesis' first album before Phil Collins arrived was called From Genesis to Creation, and it is fucking amazing. I love it, but I don't, I don't, I don't mind. The Peter Gabriel Genesis, mm. they've got some good tunes. When, we get, when he left, um, you know, Phil took over. Wasn't into that. Susudio and all that. Mm. Nah. 
it was a big, it was massive for a while, wasn't it? It was like. Oh, it's Genesis. It was Phil Collins. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No jacket required and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive, yeah. Um, what flavour of crisps would you like to invent? There's never been a decent Chinese flavour crisp, has there? Mm. Like a, you know, like a, um, you know, the chicken katsu curry? Yeah. That flavour. Would be nice. Yeah. But I'll stick to the classics with crisps. Okay. Cheese and onion, salt and vinegar. Ready salted. Uh, beef, monster munch. Can't go wrong. Mm. Pickled onion, monster munch are better though. I don't know, kind of, yeah. I mean, monster munch, the flaming hot ones are great as well. And what's this? Flaming hot what's this? Unbelievable. If you had a nemesis, how would they be dressed? In a parker. <laughs>